morning class. Today we are going to discuss about binary trees and binary search trees. So first of all, what is a binary tree? So in a binary tree, every node can have at most two children. Like 40, if it is a node, then it can have 30 and 50 as its at most children. If I add another node, 60, then this is no longer a binary tree. So in a binary tree, a node can have zero children or it can have one child or it can have two children. So if this is a uh, tree, then there is one node which will have no parent. Uh, um, what I mean by parent is like 30 is linked to 40, so 40 is the parent of 30 and 50, uh, 40 is also the parent of 50. For 40, 30 and 50 are its children. So there is a node in the in a binary tree, there is a node which will have no parent, that will be called as root. This is the beginning of our tree and this will be its children. So this tree can be extended like this but the property is uh, every node can have at most two children. So what will be the data structure for every node? It will look something like this. So it will be a structure in which we will have the data element like we have 40 here. Then we will have a left pointer that will point to the left child and we will have a right pointer that will point to the right child. So in this case 40 is the data, its left child is 30 and its right child is 50. So in if I make the diagram, it will be something like this. This will be our data structure in which 40 will be our data. This will be the left pointer, this will be the right pointer and 30 will be towards the left and it will have its own two pointers then right will have 50 and it will have its own two pointers. So this is what a basic data structure for a, a tree node would look like but uh, this can be represented in convenient form like this. So this is a binary tree. Now what is a binary search tree? Binary search tree is a special case of binary tree in which the left child of a node will be smaller than the node. For example if 40 is a node then its left child will be smaller than 40, it will be like 30 and its right child will be larger than 40 and it will be 50 or something greater than 40. So this is basically, uh, if you follow this property for uh, every node then it will represent a binary search tree. So we can extend it further, so 20 and 35 and 45 and 55. So this represents our binary search tree. At every level, in each node, uh, its left child is smaller than it and its right child is bigger than it. So now if we discuss about like insertion in this tree, how will we insert an element in a binary search tree? So suppose our elements are 8, 10, 2, 8, 10, 2, 5, 1, 4, 3, 9, 11. So we how will insert this? First of all we need a root. So the first element will be considered as a root. So we'll have 8. Now the next element to be inserted is 10. So how will insert that? We'll compare this element with the node and if it is larger than the node it will be towards the right and if it is smaller than the node it will be towards the left. So in this case, uh, in this case uh, 10 is greater than 8 so it will come towards the right side. Now uh, we will take 2 as the element and uh, we will compare this first of all with the node, with the root. So since 2 is smaller than 8 it will towards the left side and since A does not have any child on its left, so we can insert it straight away. 
So the next element in the queue is 5. So first of all 5 is compared with the root and since 5 is smaller than the root it will be towards the left, uh, left side. Now since left side is failed it will be again compared to the left child and since 2 is uh, smaller than 5 so 5 will be towards its right, right side. Now we'll go to 1. We'll compare this with the root. So 1 is smaller than root, it will be on the left side. Then it will be smaller than 2, it will be again on the left side. Since there is no element on the left of 2, we can insert it directly. Now we'll go to 4. 4 is smaller than 8 to the left side. Again it is, uh, it is larger than 2. So it will be towards its right side. So since right side is complete is failed, now we have to compare four with five. So since four is smaller than five, it will be towards its left. Now we go to three. Three is smaller than eight. Three is bigger than two. Three is smaller than five. Three is smaller than four. So it will be towards the left. Now we come to 9. Since 9 is greater than 8, it will be on its right side. And uh, since right side is failed, we have to compare 9 with 10. So when we compare 9 with 10, 9 is smaller than 10, it will be on its left side. Since there is no element on its left side, we can insert it there. Now we go to 11, which is the last element to be inserted. We compare 11 with 8, it will be towards its right side. We compare it with 10 and 11 is greater than 10 so it will be again to its right side. Since there is no element we can insert it there. And this is how we will insert in a binary search tree. So every element to the left of this node will be smaller than it and to the right will be larger than it. So this will be the greatest element in this binary search tree and this will be the smallest element. The leftmost element will be the smallest and the rightmost will be the largest rightmost will be the largest. So now if you need to find some element as binary search tree, how to proceed? We will follow the same uh, similar procedure. Suppose we need to find, uh, suppose we need to find 4 in this binary search tree. We will start from 8 since 8 is the root. So we will compare it with the 4. Since 4 is smaller than 8, we will skip the whole right side of 8 and we will move to the left side. Now since uh, 4 is uh, smaller, is greater than 2, we will skip the whole left side of 2 and we will just consider the right side. So now we compare 4 with 5. Since uh, 4 is smaller than 5, it should lie on the left side of 5. So we will skip the whole right side of 5. So now 4 is compared with the next element and we have a match. Suppose we were trying to find 6 in this uh, tree. So for 6 we'll, uh, while traversing we will reach here. Now 6 is greater than 5 so it should lie on its right side. Since right side of 5 is empty that means 6 does not exist, uh, is it, uh, 6 is not there in our tree and we can uh, return nothing. So this is uh, basically some uh, basics of our uh, binary search tree and binary tree.